How to knit the English garden edge stitch. English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Mountain Meadow Wool, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Laramie line in the color Prairie. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, knit two together, knit three together, knit three together through the back loop, purl two together, purl two together through the back loop, purl three together, yarn over, slip stitch, slip slip knit. This edge stitch has worked over 14 stitches. Row one. Beginning on the right side of our work, we're going to slip the first stitch purlwise. Then we are going to knit two together. And we will yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and do a slip slip knit. Okay, and then we are going to knit one, then we will yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and into the next stitch we will knit one, yarn over, and knit one again. Then we will yarn over and knit one two times. So yarn over and knit one again. Then we will yarn over twice, knit two together, and we'll finish off with a knit one. Row two, we're going to begin by knitting three. Then we will purl one, knit one, then purl nine, Okay, then we're going to knit one, purl five, and we'll finish up with a knit one. Row three, we'll begin by slipping one, purl wise. Then we're going to knit two together. We'll yarn over and knit one. Yarn over and slip slip knit. Then we will knit one. Then we will yarn over and knit three. And we'll do that a total of three times. So yarn over, knit three again, yarn over, and knit three once more. Then we're going to yarn over, knit one, yarn over twice. Then we'll do another knit one and yarn over twice. One, two, then we'll knit two together and knit one. Row four, we're going to begin by knitting three. Then we're going to purl one, make sure this yarn over doesn't fall off our needle. And we will knit two. We'll purl one again, making sure that that yarn over doesn't fall off. Then we're going to knit one and purl five. OK, 
Okay, then we're going to knit three together. Okay, so we're going to go into the third stitch all the way through the first stitch. Knit them as if they were one stitch. Now we're going to purl five. And knit one. And we'll do that again. Purl five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we will finish up with a knit one. Row five. We're going to begin by slipping the first stitch purl wise. Then we're going to knit two together. Next we'll yarn over and knit one. Yarn over and slip slip knit. Then we're going to knit one. Then we're going to yarn over, slip slip knit. Knit one. Knit two together. And yarn over and knit one. And we're going to do that again. So we'll start with the yarn over, slip, slip, knit, knit one, knit two together, yarn over, and knit one. Then we are going to yarn over two times and knit two together. And we'll do that again. So yarn over two times, knit two together. And one more time, yarn over two times and knit two together. And then we will knit one to finish the row. Row six, we're going to begin by knitting three. Then we're going to purl one. Then we will knit two. And purl one. We'll do that two times total, so another knit two. And purl one. Okay, then we're going to knit one and purl two together. Then we'll purl one. And then purl two together through the back loop. So we're going to come around to the other side, insert our needle from the second stitch on our needle, and then we'll flip that back around. Like so. Now we're going to purl one, purl two together, purl one, Purl two together through the back loop. So again, coming through on the other side, inserting it purlwise through the back loop, and purling those two together. Okay, then we're going to knit one and purl five. And we'll finish up with a knit one. Row seven. We're going to begin by slipping the first stitch purl wise. Then we're going to knit two together. And we will yarn over and knit one. Then we'll yarn over and slip slip knit. Okay, then we're going to knit one again, yarn over, then we'll knit three together through the back loop. So we're going to come purlwise through these three stitches through the back loop and knit those all together. Alright, then we are going to do a knit one. And a knit three together. Normal knit, th knit three together. A yarn over. And then we will knit 11, which should be to the end of the row. So there's two, three, four.
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Row eight. We're going to begin by binding off seven stitches. So we'll knit two and bind off one. Knit and bind off two. Knit and bind off three. Knit, bind off four. Knit, bind off five. Knit, bind off six. And one more to bind off seven. Now we are going to knit four. And we will purl three together. So insert purl wise through the front of the stitch, our next three stitches, and purl those all together. Then we're going to knit two, one, two. Okay, then we're going to purl five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we'll finish up with a knit one. So we're going to repeat rows one through eight until you've reached your desired length. Now when you finish up your row, you're going to just pick up the stitches along this top edge that we've been doing slip stitches and then begin knitting your stockinette that direction. And that's how you knit the English Garden Edge Stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more knits today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newstitchaday.com VIP.